here I'm just taking a maple limb, maple log, and I'm going to turn it into a baby rattle as a gift. Now I'm forming a tendon on each side to allow for my smaller chuck so I can hold each side of the, the rattle for hollowing out the, the rattle itself. Please keep in mind this is the first time ever making a rattle for me. Um, I just went off this basic idea that I had of how to make one. If you guys have a little better way um, please leave me a comment in the comment section so maybe I'll try that one out next time I am just scored it and uh, taking my saw and cut it in two pieces and I'm soon going to mount it in my small chuck jaws and start hollowing out the the middle part of it I started with my uh, 5 8 inch bowl gouge, but since this has been in grain, I switched to my round nosed uh, carbide. It seems to do the job quite well. These beads I picked up at a local store, um, they seem to work out quite well. Um, I got these for another project I was going to use with some resin, but I figured this would be, the, still a few of these beads would be, be alright for this project also. And I'm just using a two-part JB Weld epoxy. I had a little trouble getting both sides to equally come out, so I had to make a couple different little spots of it. Now I just placed it back in the chuck jaws and used my live center part to uh, press against it and just using some of the sawdust to fill in any like little cracks. Now that the epoxy is finally set up, it's the next day. Uh, time to do some final shaping of this. Uh, we're going to work on the handle part here and try to figure out what I want to do for the handle design. And try to do some shear scraping to uh, level out the, the rattle body itself and uh, using my skew to uh, help you know smooth out the, the cuts. Now I just took and uh, used a piece of wire to burn where the seam is to uh, hide where the seam is and I'm just fixing a couple little spots, bug holes or spots in it. Now from this being my first uh, rattle I do wish I would have did the handle design just a little bit different on it it, it turned out all right um next time i'll definitely try a different handle design a lot of it was uh i had this bug spot that was in this uh the handle part here so i actually ended up using some uh deer antler that i used for when i turn rings and uh i actually used it to fill in a lot of the big spots and big areas I end up sending this piece from uh, 
80 grit all the way up to 240 grit and uh, in between grits and stuff I always tried to uh, sand along with the grain that seemed to help take out a lot of the scratches. Here I decided to uh, add a couple more burnt lines in just for just for some looks and then hit it back with some sandpaper to smooth it out. As you can, might be able to see, I end up uh, taking it to the house and putting the baby's name, case, and uh, the birth date on it. Now I'm just forming the back part of the handle and getting ready to part off the top part of the handle. Still nerve-wracking because uh, at this point it's pretty much done, but it could still fly apart on me and <laughs> be kind of devastating. I decided to start with just a shellac as a sanding sealer. Do heavy coats of shellac on it. It does say on there safe for like wood toys and stuff like that. And I do know they use some shellac and uh, food products and like makeup products and stuff. So it should be food safe. And then I just use some paste wax on there, which is, you know, beeswax and mineral oil. So it's food safe. And I end up finishing the pro project with just a, it's a DIY shine paste, which is a uh, beeswax and just mineral oil. Now I'm just uh, sanding back the the last remaining nubs of uh, where I had the tendon on there for the chuck jaws and then rounding them and smoothing them all out. Now I'm going to end up applying some more of this, there's the name you can see better there, some more of this uh, polish with just the beeswax and mineral oil so it's a uh, not harmful finish. As I'm applying this last bit of little finish on this rattle, I just want to say I appreciate you guys watching my videos. It means a lot. And if you guys would uh, share my content, leave me a comment and give me a like. And please subscribe. That would do me wonders for this channel to make it help make it grow and get better and better.